If you're running search or performance max campaigns, these are the best ad extensions that you need to be using in 2023. Now, before we go into this, let's get onto the same page because I said ad extensions where they're actually now known as assets. So if you're talking about ad extensions, you now need to refer to them as ad assets. Now, although the name has changed, the functionality is still the same. And these are extra little bits that you can add to your ads. And these are your site links, your call extensions, your promotion extensions, your call ad extensions. And we'll go through all of those in a screen share in this video. But I wanna just firstly touch on the, the benefits or the reasons for why you would use them. And there's two core reasons. And the first reason is that it helps to increase your ad quality. And as a byproduct, by increasing your ad quality, you're putting downward pressure on your cost per click. Now, we do know that Google Ads is an auction, so you can't just say that you only wanna pay a certain amount. If extra advertisers come into your market and they're targeting the same keywords and products as yours, a byproduct of that is because there's now more demand in the market, your CPC or the cost you're paying per click will increase. But having said that, there are some things that you can do to put downward pressure on that CPC. So you may not be able to go back to what you're paying two or three years ago, but you can make it so that you're paying less than what your competitors are. So that's why by using as many ad extensions as possible, you increase your ad quality score, which does help put that downward pressure on CPC. The other core benefit of using your ad assets, or as you may know them, your ad extensions, is that it increases the size of your ad, especially if you get that number one position. What you will do is that, especially with site links, you can have up to four different, they look like menu type things underneath your ad. Then if you've got a promotion extension or different price extensions or call extensions, it's actually increasing the physical sides of your ad. And the benefit of this is that because your ad looks bigger, people are more likely to click on that ad, especially if you're targeting users with mobile devices, because that ad on a mobile device, if it's got site links and maybe a promotion extension active, it can take nearly a third of the top of the screen, which is a really big visual aid to help you get that all important click so that you've got a chance for people to convert and buy your product or order your service. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the five ad assets that you should be using in your Google Ads search and performance max campaigns. But before we get into that screen share, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young for Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. Now, if you want some extra help from me on how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns, which includes how often you should go through and review your ad assets or your ad extensions, I wanna give you access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this is perfect for search campaigns or if you're running e-commerce campaigns, you can get access to my Google Ads e-commerce optimization checklist. And both of these checklists not only let you know all of the different optimization actions that you need to be completing on your Google Ads campaigns, they also let you know how often you need to complete that, whether it's every week, every month, or every 90 days. And if you would like free access to those checklists, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But with all that said, let's get into a screen share. Now this is gonna be a bit of an extended screen share, but it's gonna be highly practical, not only showing you where you can access these ad assets, but also how they look and why you would add them to your campaigns. Let's get straight into it. So let me firstly show you how you need to go through and access your ad extensions or assets as they're called now. Now, if you're running the old Google Ads dashboard, it's just straight under here under ads and assets, and then you go into assets. Or if you've got an account which is running the new Google Ads dashboard, what you need to do is you need to go into this insights and reports tab, and it'll be under there, once again, going into your ads and assets. So firstly, I wanna just take you through the different ad assets that I'm gonna be taking you through today. And these are the top five ones that I use, and that's your site links, your call outs, your structured snippets, your call extension, and then also your promotion extension. So let's firstly jump into your site links. Now, if you don't know what your site links look like, I'll just show you an example in through here. And your site links are the ones that appear underneath your actual ad. And what you can actually do is you can redirect these to different parts of your website. So for example, if you you 
were running an accommodation provider and you had different types of accommodations. So you could run this to your one bedroom villas, this one's to your two bedroom villas, this one could be to a reviews page, or this one could be to a current promotions page. So that then allows that if people click on this part of the ad, it goes through to the URL that you've nominated in your ad copy. Whereas if they go through to these different site links, it takes them through to the individual URL that you've selected in here. And then from here as well, in the desktop view, it appears under here. So the reason for why I like this is because as I said, it actually really does increase the size of your ad. In mobile, it nearly doubles the size of your ad. So that's a great benefit of it. That's the first one. And that's one that all of your campaigns should have. Unless you're directing people to with a one page lander, you should always be running site links. Now, the second one I wanna show you is what's called a call out. Once again, let me show you how this works and how this appears. If you've ever seen this before where you have an ad copy and then from there you have some different call outs. And what you wanna be doing in here is you wanna be saying any particular things that cover all of your related services or products. So on this one, you know, we've got that we've got a sale at the moment, we've got that, you know, free airport transfers, complimentary breakfast. So this is basically looking at, you know, you're calling out what I would put in here usually is I put any unique selling points that I have. These are selling points that I have that we know that our competitors don't have, or they could be a selling point that, you know, is just industry standard. So you're just clarifying that you've got this. So it could be, you know, 30 days money back guarantee or free shipping, whatever the case would be, you would add this in here. And when it's promoted in the ad, you can actually see that it is a little bit bolder. So that's the difference between your call out and your general ad text. So the first one was site links, and then it was call outs. And now I want to go into your structured snippets. Now your structured snippets and call outs, they do seem to be very, very similar, but they are different. And the reason for why they are different is that you do have some different different things that you have to put in there. So you can't just put any text in there. This could be your service catalog. So let's just say that you were an electrician. You could put in here that you do air conditioning installations, you do general electrical contracting, you might do solar power. So you can write that in there and you can see the different categories that you've got. So, you know, if you're a reseller and you have different brands, you may want to nominate the brands that you do provide. If you're an education provider, you can list the different courses or degree programs. If you're running a multiple travel site, you can use either by destinations or featured hotels. So you can see the different sections that you've got that you can put in there as well. But once again, fairly, fairly similar to your call outs, but rather than it being based around your unique selling points or the benefits of your product, this is more getting into the practicalities of what are the different services that you offer or what are the different brands that you stock. And now I want to take you through, so that's the first three, your site links, your call outs and your structured snippets. Now I want to take you through the call and also the promotion. Now, the reason for why I don't use the lead form is I just don't really like the functionality of it because to get those leads, you then have to go back into Google. I have found them to be a little bit spammy. So I, I that's why I just prefer to go down and call or the promotion. And then the price one, I do use these and I'll just quickly jump into the price one. This is where you can go through and show your price, but it is limited. And the reason for why it is limited is that you do have to have a minimum of three products showing. And what it does do is that it shows you can add in your brand and your pricing in there. So let's jump into the call extension. Now the call extension, as the name suggests, is that where you actually show your phone number. Now the one thing that I do want to stress in here is that the phone number that you add in here, it appears at the bottom of this mobile. And if they were to click on this mobile ad, I don't know if you've done it before, where you click on an ad and you see a number pop up and you press call and straight away you're calling that number even without visiting the website. But you do need to make sure that the phone number you've got nominated in here does actually appear on your website. And if it doesn't appear on your website in a prominent position, your call extension will be declined or, or be disapproved. The other great thing about call extensions is that it's got conversion tracking inbuilt into it. So if you don't have any conversion tracking set up, once you've added in this call extension, it'll automatically record this as a conversion and you can even get data around the time of the call, the duration of the call. And in some countries, you even get the phone number. And then finally, I wanted to jump into the last one, which is our promotion extensions. Now, the reason for why I like these promotion extensions is once again, let me show you in through here, is that 
it adds a really powerful call to action at the bottom of the ad. So what you can do in through here is that you can say whether it's a monetary discount or a percentage discount. So let's just say we were gonna say, you know, save 20%. And you can then even say what this is for. So let's just say this is for a summer sale. So we're saying summer sale, 20% off, and you could write in here whether it's site-wide or you could put it off selected products. And then you can nominate which URL it goes to. You can also add in through here whether they need to add in a promotion code. So let's just put, they need to put save 20 as their promotion code. And then the other thing that I love about it here is that you can actually put a date. So you can say that this is for the next, you know, up until the 6th of July. And then it puts in there the different date of when it ends. The other thing that you can do as well is if you go into these advanced options, you can actually say when you want this to show. So let's just say we want this to go to the 6th of July, but we only want the ads to show to the 5th. What you do is you click save in there. And then what would happen is after the 5th of July, this promotion extension would no longer appear on your ads. So that's the top five ad assets that I'm using for my search and performance max campaigns in 2023. Once again, thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure having you here. My name's Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. Now, if you wanna make sure that you've actually set up your search campaigns correctly in 2023 using the new Google Ads dashboard, go through and watch this video right here. Or if you wanna make sure that you've been setting up your performance max campaigns correctly with the new dashboard, go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. See you next time.